because you're taller. You keep looking. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> What are you eating? Werther's. What are Werther's? Butterscotch something. Mm, really good. good. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I'm like a bear. If it's sweet, I'll try to eat it. You got enough hair to be one. <laughs> I'm going to my tent. Okay, here's the deal. At 87, a dream was set into motion. For years, they've been in millions of your living rooms. No couple has traveled the globe to bring you the adventures they do. Sport? Nah, it's a way of life. North America's favorite hunting couple are the real deal. They live at full draw. Close Encounters is what they do. It's not about glory, hype, or fame. It's about bows and arrows, baby. Draw, anchor, aim, release. Bucks, bears, bulls, birds, tree stands, ground blow. Line, spot and stock. Now that's what we're talking about. Real hunting, real people, real adventure. We are the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week we are heading up to Northwest Territories. Yeah, you and Z are going to head up to Aurora Caribou Camps. Yep. We had a great hunt. Really? A lot of, I mean, just a lot of action. Oh, yeah? Because you girls went... You went to Quebec for well, speaking a, um, of going away. See you later. <laughs> That's fast. These tunnels are big. Yes, ma'am. All right, so anyway, so I went on my girls' caribou hunt, so you and Z went on a guy's caribou yep, hunt. Yeah, we went up to the Northwest Territories, and we had a phenomenal hunt with Aurora Caribou Camps. The, I mean, the tundra was you just You guys had turned. a lot of fun. It was a great show you don't want to miss. But in the meantime, the lucky logo this week. Stimulus package. Lucky logo this week is True Glow. Who? Yes. Seeing is believing. Yes, yeah, so and if they you let see the you true, see lo it. true Glow logo, then. Yes. That's Can you say hard. it faster? No, true, true Glow, glow logo. logo. Anyways, at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do with that. Yep. Let's just get into the hunt. Yeah, let's go to the Northwest Territories. Traveling, getting there, well, could be a whole day adventure. Edmonton. <laughs> Edmonton to Yellowknife. Edmonton to Yellowknife. Do you copy? We're sitting here in Edmonton, and we're just about an hour and a half yet, so we've been here two hours this waiting on this ugly, flight. Ugly angle for you, man. <laughs> There's no pretty angles for me. <laughs> it's uh, 30 some degrees here. We just landed in Yellowknife. It's taken us all day. And well, we gotta go take the shuttle to a to hotel, to sleep, to get on another plane in the morning. Well, Wildcat Cafe, this is the heritage of the territories here. This is one of the oldest buildings in existence. And this is a restaurant. We've got grizzly bears in the area. We do have an uh, electric fence around the camp. If you don't feel good in the morning, you can just grab two wires. <laughs> and that'll fix your heart up. You run into grizzly bears on the land, and you, there's no season for them. You're not allowed to shoot them unless you shoot on your leg. And even then, you can't keep the height. This is the electric fence that we have around the caribou camp here, and it's an absolute must because we have so many grizzlies in this country. The fence consists of one hot wire, one negative, one hot, one negative all the way down, and the bear basically has to touch two wires to get a shock. The power runs off solar power. It works great. And we have bears bump into this fence during the night, and I'm telling you, it's enough to make your hair stand up on end. Yeah, the electric fences work. Let's see what's gonna happen on my hunt. Okay, good. Get up on the bridge. These guys look like they're working this yep. way. The wind's going to be in our favor. Perfect. Something 
we going to do? He's still on the other side of this hill here. This knob? Yeah, the wind's in our favor. We need to get up here on an angle and find out what he's doing, which way he's moving, if he wants to come down this way or if he's gonna come down the other side, and then we can position ourselves in the bush for the best shot. Okay. Let's rock and roll, buddy. All right. You don't want to go anywhere because you know there's times in the tundra that well you really wish there were trees and bushes yeah instead of having those caribou's coming right over the top of you like that or something and they just kept coming coming don't go anymore bye bye ah bummer welcome back to the archer's choice now yep. anticipation he's coming up over the hill everything's going good it starts to pour rain yeah. and i have no cover and well we'll see what happens I just, there was no way he picked us off. No. All right, what we do is we got the bull bedded. He's facing this way. We still have the wind in our favor. But what we're gonna do is if we go high, we're really looking for trouble because they'll probably spot us, like Dar said. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay low. We're gonna come up. Keep the wind in our favor, keep this foliage in the rocks and not rock outcroppings and see what we can do. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week is well, guess what? There's nothing in the woods, and most of the animals know, that walk from heel to toe except us, the ultimate predator. Well, here's a tip is in your stand, when the leaves are all coming down, in your timbers or however you get to your stand, is take your lawnmower or a rake and actually <laughs> blow those leaves off the trail. What happens is now you're able to sneak in there. Say we got the deer feeding up here in the fields. Well, if once we blow all the leaves off this trail, we could sneak in here quietly in the morning, those deer never know we're there and we're set up to ambush them either between their, their feeding or their bedding areas or whatever. That is your bowling world to see. Well, Dars, we tried. It was great. Buddy, it was awesome. It was good. We got up there and uh, that one bull was seven, like 75 yards away. Yeah. And then yeah. he got up and I tried to just belly crawl and just crawled and we, you know, we were trying to close that distance, but. You don't want to go anywhere. No. But how come you, I you just want to, how come, were you scared? You were scared of them bulls, weren't no, you? No, I wasn't scared. You were scared. 
They no just... balls down. Maybe when we come back, maybe Z will be successful. Maybe Z can get something down because obviously you. You're can't... going down. Look at. Don't touch me. <laughs> Bye. Ow. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Oh well, you know now we're gonna go with Z because he is on a monster, monster. Northwest Territory giant caribou bull. Really? Yep. The Royal Caribou Camps? Yep. Monster? Un monster. Monster. Monster You guys tundra. starved up there, didn't you? Yeah, it was rough. You know, I mean, the, the just well, peanut butter and jelly. Well, you guys actually shooting caribou, you might have. Let's just roll into Z's footage, shall we? What are you eating? Werther's. What are Werther's? Butterscotch something. Mm, really good. good. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I'm like a bear. If it's sweet, I'll try to eat it. You got enough hair to be one. <laughs> I'm going to my tent. Some really nice bulls come up out of the valley and go right over the crest of the hill. We're about 120 yards too short, but uh, they're not spooked. They're just coasting over the hill. We can still see their tops. We're watching a monster bull, maybe 500, 600 yards across the water. We're just hoping he follows the same general path that the other group of bulls did. If he comes this way, we really want that bull back. <laughs> Water edge. Okay, caribou one, Zendel none. He's a great bull. It is dinner time. So I think it's cooked. Cooked and marinated. For two hours and our smoker out the back. I'm just going to slice it, and you guys are just, uh, come on down. Okay. Kevin here is, um, he's cooking caribou tongue. It is just wonderful. This is a delicacy here in the north. You, um, really, really need to try it. Especially pickled. That's the best. Oh, way. pickled! <laughs> mm, what is this? This is car caribou uh, heart. Wow. I'm like eating all the innards. <laughs> I have to uh, slice it thin because... You gotta... So you don't taste it. <laughs> so there's enough to go around. Oh yeah, because I'm telling you, <laughs> they're going to be beating down the door on this. <laughs> so this is heart and tongue. Heart and tongue, I and mean, you might get some liver too. We're still waiting for that to come in. You got liver happening, and uh, we, we'll go for a little of the usual tenderloin and Backstrap, how's that? Okay. Leave the tongue for the grizzlies. Uh, we'll leave the tongue for those who indulge in delicacies. Poor Z, huh? Poor Z. Oh, he missed that big that old monster bull. bull. Z, I feel <laughs> your pain. <laughs> yeah? And then, well, you know, there there's some things that I just... I thought maybe I, after Z missed that big bull, he just wanted a little bit of that tongue. I'm going to tell you, there's just some things that I just don't think are a delicacy. Don't go anywhere. We come back, we'll see if Ralph can actually maybe hit a caribou. Pickled tongue? Well... Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now? Yep, it's ready. Yeah? They got the Tundra Terror. Me? Here. Something more like 
Tasmanian double. Getting that Hoyt there, baby. Boop. Maybe. Who knows? Well. Who knows? We just got to roll the footage, though. But now it's starting to happens. rain. I kind of feel like we're up in the Northwest Territories. We are. We're in the Territories. I'm going to get wet on him in my rain gear. side here somewhere right right let's just go straight once we start cresting we'll go real slow and we're going to be looking for their tops because i really think they're just bedded down on the other side of the straw okay because you're taller you keep looking yes yes <laughs> <laughs> Nailed him, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yes. <sighs> you know, I know my first, I think my sh first shot, I judged him. And when he walked a little bit, I, you know, I brought the pin up. Yeah. And I think I went right over his back. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know, so I, I missed him once and, well, don't let me have another one. <laughs> Scratchers, good tops. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I love them. Thanks, Dars. Thank you, brother. Look no at problem. that, huh? Oh, man. He's a double shovel. Yes, he with is. With a little wiener yes, shovel. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> oh, look at the tops on that bull. I hit him where it hoits, baby. <laughs> Thanks, Dars. Hey, you're Thank more you, than sir. welcome. This is a great hunt. Ooh, Congratulations. Mm. Good job. Yep. That's kind of a far shot out there. Yeah, but, but you know, it, it's like anything. We've always said is, you know, you, you start hunting out west, you start hunting in different areas, well, we, you have to be prepared to shoot further distances. Right. And we practice every day before that, you, you know what I mean? Just keep and talking, because obviously I can't interrupt you, so go on, finish the show. Okay. Go ahead. Lucky Logo. Stimulus package. Lucky Logo is True Glow. If you happen Stimulus to see Lucky package. Logo, True Glow, you need to log on to archerschoice.com. Press the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's gonna win some lucky logo stuff. Absolutely, true glow. True glow. True glow. Absolutely. Seeing is believing. All right, we wanna thank Aurora Caribou Camps for letting us go up there. Greg Robertson, you thank you so there. much. You know, Northwest T Territories Tourism? Right. That was awesome. Very cool. Well, okay, Can't so wait to go, we're going back. Again? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. All right, well, anyways, we wanna thank you for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.